Hello, my foodie friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to show you a very short comparison of two special brushes that I had recently acquired from Foodie Bobo. These are actually very special brushes that I don't have in my collection. So I thought it would be interesting to expand my collection in this direction. These two brushes are actually weasel brushes and they are dyed. In fact, I had thought they were Martin at first glance. And I shall show you comparison next to the Martin. So let us start with the KQ-10B. I have on my right and on your left, the Valerie D. Martin. The shape of the Valerie D. is more tapered than the Tonsido, but I would say the color is very close. That was why initially when I had seen that brush, I immediately thought it was Martin here. So let us listen to the snap. I would say the Tonsido Weasel has a stronger snap than the Valerie D. And I wanted to try with some powder eyeshadow. And we have here the YSL Stora Dolls. So let us try with the matte. I have not used these brushes yet, so we are trying it together for the first time. Oh, wow. So that's four swipes. Oh, wow, it really picks up product very, very well, in fact. So let us try with uh, the Valerie D next. So three swipes, four swipes. We can see that the pickup and the display of products, it appears that the weasel has a stronger, has a stronger power to leave out products than the Martin, but the Martin is so soft. It, the hair feels like a hybrid between goat and squirrel, but the lay, the lay down of products is very reminiscent of Kolinsky. So I want to wipe down both brushes and let us try with some glittery products from the same palette of YSL. So I'm going to start off with uh, the Tonsido. Four swipes. 
I know normally when we apply makeup, we don't <laughs> apply this amount. I mean, nobody does this amount. Um, unless you want to, of course. Um, uh, but for the sake of the video, let us put it here. No, I want to put it somewhere close so we can see it. So let us put it here. Four swipes. That's there's a little bit of product flying around, but I would say, um, wow, interesting. Let us try with a Valerie D. I'm gonna wipe down on a microfiber towel and four swipes as well. And let us put it here. I would say there is less kick up except for this big patch, but that's my fault. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, there's less kick up with the glittery, not glittery, it was the shimmer shade. And I would say that the Martin has a more elegant lay down of the product, whereas the weasel, we can see that it's more glitter. It's beautiful. They are both beautiful, but the lay down of the product with a Martin is a little bit more elegant. But I think that they are both glorious in performance. And to be fair, I think that the Weasel lays down matte products better than the Valerie D. But in regards to shimmer shine products, the Martin appears to have laid down product in a more sophisticated and elegant performance. Very interesting. Wow. And for the sake of comparison, I thought that the shape of the Tonsedo, sorry, I just had to wipe it down. Um, I had thought of this Hakuhodo. I don't have the number listed, um, uh, but the shape, I immediately thought of the shape, but in fact, the Hakuhodo is more pointy. I also have the Small Hakuhodo Portable Kolinsky, which I actually found to be very, very close in shape. So let us compare, let us compare the Weasel to the Kolinsky. Let us use it with the matte products. So four swipes exactly. I'm going to put it here. Sorry, this is not Kolinsky. This is Itachi, which is a Japanese weasel. Wow, I would say that the Itachi, in fact, applies more product. It, it does have some kick up, though. Um, it applies more product than the Tonsado weasel. Interesting. And let us test it with the shimmer particles, the shimmer shade, sorry. Four swipes and let us put it here. Two, three, four. Compared to the weasel, which is here, I would say that the weasel places down more product than the Itachi, but the Martin does so in a more elegant fashion. I would go for 
the dyed weasel from Tonsedo for matte products and the Martin for shimmer sparkly products because the manner that it displays product is just super elegant and it's it's just so chic i just love the way that it does it doesn't have a lot of kick up either yeah i shall save the kulinski for i shall not test with this but i shall, I shall test it with the larger brush because I do have a Tonsedo Kolinsky. So the other brush that I had picked up was the, was the, uh, the KQ12B, which is a larger sibling. Let us compare it to the Tonsedo, which I found to be very, very close, almost identical I would say the snap is fairly close let us have a look at the way that it lays down products. So let us put this Kolinsky down here. Wow. The lay down of product of the Kolinsky is superior than any of the previous ones. We can immediately see that it's like kapow. It's like, whoa, yeah. We can see it here for sure. The lay down of product from the Kolinsky, Tonsedo Kolinsky, is just like nothing beats Kolinsky for the mat. So let's try. I have to wipe down the brush. Let us try it with uh, the shimmer product. swipes so I would say it lays down shimmers a bit more than the weasel but the Martin is still more elegant the way that the shimmer is displaying I don't know if the camera is picking it up for matte, I would go for the Tonsedo Kolinsky, then the dyed Tonsedo Weasel. These would be my top two for my products if you want a very oomph lay down. Whereas for the Shimmer, I would definitely be going for the Valerie. And then the, the Valerie Martin hair and then the Kolinsky from Tonsedo. And then I will be going for the weasel. I mean, performance is pretty close. It's just a matter of preference and being very picky like I am right now. So that's it for the comparisons. Um, now let's continue with the shape. I have the Martin from Valerie D. The weasel has more snap and spring back than the Martin. Very interesting. You see that it's very the color is almost identical feral size are about the same but the Valeridi is a pointy spady shape but the Tonsedo is a bit more on the oval side I also thought of this Fude Beauty Hokudo it was a Fude Beauty exclusive 
and uh, this is actually from uh, the raccoon the Japanese raccoon dog I would say same amount of snap the Hokudo is a thicker feral hair length the same but the shape is very pointy and the raccoon dog is a darker shading color I want to precise that this is the Japanese raccoon dog and not the Western version of the animal raccoon. And the last one that I have is the Hakuhodo S120 Kolinsky hair. I feel the Hakuhodo has more snap and spring back. But the shape is very, very close. With the Hakuhodo being slightly thicker in feral size. I'm very pleased with these uh, two brushes, in fact. Um, uh, they are still available on Fude Bobo's website. Um, uh, I do recommend them because for the price, they are very good workhorses. I believe um, they were specially customized by Bobo herself. There's the bow. And the brush number made in Japan and the Tonsedo. I really like the blue handles. In fact, all of the Tonsedo handles are just very beautiful. It's just a matter of preference when it comes to colors. So there you have it, my foodie friends. Thank you very much for tuning in with me today and for sharing um, uh, this uh, video about the dyed weasel hair from Tonsedo. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I shall catch you on to my very next video. So thank you very much and stay safe. Goodbye.